Yo, yo, what is up? So in this tutorial, we're going to go ahead and start setting up um, our our stacking inventory. Basically, we're going to set up our inventory and it'll, it'll stack to the specific inventories that we have. So as you can see right here, um, I have it set up for tools. We're going to do our tools on this one. So when I pick up a, a potion, you'll see new tool item found. If I uh, pick up another one, tool item added means it's stacked it and if i do the mana potion new tool item found so yeah let's just hop into it all right so before we get to stacking items um in the last video uh let me just pull up my items here base item so in the last video someone said hey why are you why are you casting right here because you could totally do this without a cast and um yeah they they are right we can do this without a cast and for a lot of you that may know casting can you know take up more memory space so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna update this to not cast so how we're gonna do that is we're gonna go into our blueprints interfaces and on our interact bpi right here we're gonna click on our interact right here and we're gonna add an input and we're gonna call this character and this is going to be of type character. And we're going to make this an object right there. So now next thing we want to do is we're going to go to our third person blueprint. Third person right here. And I see right here on our interact message, we have this character input. We just want to pull this and we want to get a reference to self. So that it knows that it's the player character that is the character whenever we interact. So now we're going to go back to our base item. We're just going to get rid of all of this right here. We're going to pull off the character right here. We're going to get component by class. The component we're going to get is our inventory. And what we're going to do is we're going to pull off of here and we're going to pick up item. And let's plug that in. And we're going to set our item info. So that gets completely rid of the cast and we'll just check that, make sure it's working. So you can still pick up the items and there's no cast. So yeah. Yeah, that's all we're going to do there. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to start stacking items. So we're going to go into our blueprints components. We're going to go into our inventory component. And let's just go ahead and add a sequence to this pickup item. Because we're going to be having multiple different inventories. So depending on which inventory we go to, we're going to add to the different inventories here. Whenever we pick up an item. So we're going to add a variable over here. This is going to be our tools inventory. And we're going to make this a item info. Like that. And we want this to be an array. So just come over here and change it to an array. And now we're going to add a function. And we're going to call this add to tools inventory. Add to tools inventory. We're going to click on this. We're going to add an input. And this is going to be item info. And we want to get our item info structure right there. So we're going to pull off of here. We're going to break item info. And first thing we're going to do is we're going to check the item type. So if the item type we're going to get an equal enum. And we can click on this guy right here and just hide unconnected pins. That's all we need for that. For now. We're going to grab a branch. And we're going to check the item type right here. So we're going to see if the item type is equal to tools. And then we're just going to pull off the item info again right here. And... We're going to break it open and we're going to grab our tools inventory 
and we're going to here let me check my reference here let me check my references uh, right here yeah so we're gonna get a four each loop with break yeah so we're gonna get a four each loop with break and if the item is equal to tools we're gonna do this for each loop with break and on the array element we want to break it open and we're gonna get this that we broke open and we're gonna see if the item class is equal to this item the item that we're picking up and we also want to check If the uh, current stack is less than the max stack. So we want to check both of these. So we're going to get a and a boolean like that. And then we're going to grab a branch. Hook this to the for each loop, the, the body right there. And now we could click on this and hide on unconnected pins so now what we want to do is we're going to pull off the array element we're going to promote this to a local variable so a local var variable is just a variable that sits inside the function it won't appear anywhere else and we're just going to call this item index hook this up to the true and off also on the array element, we're going to pull off of this guy. We're going to promote this one to a local variable called um, item found. So basically what this is doing is, is it's checking if the uh, it's checking if the item that we're picking up is already in our uh, is equal to something that's in our inventory. And if it is, we're promoting that item to an item that's found. And then we're going to add a, just add a local variable here called uh, found item question mark. Because we're going to make this a boolean. We're also going to change that back to a single. And we're just going to set that right here. We're going to set it to be true. So... If the item we're picking up is equal to something that's in our inventory, that means that we found the the we found an item that already exists in our inventory. So we're just gonna pull off of this guy. We're gonna pull it back to the break right here. I'm just gonna add a reroute. Like that. And I'm just gonna pull all of this stuff back and I'm gonna grab a uh, a branch right here we're gonna hook this to the completed like that and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna check to see if uh, the item was found in our inventory and uh, we're just going to make a reroute right here off of our item info. And let me see. Let me see. Let me pull up my other reference here. Uh, right here. So what we want to do here. We want to grab our tools inventory. We're just going to grab this guy. And we're going to add just pull off this guy and we're going to add right there we're going to do this off the false so if the item wasn't found basically what we're doing here is we're adding adding a new item so we want to set the item info right here on the add and we're going to set array element set array element off of this guy right here 
and then we're going to pull off here and break item info off of this guy and on the array element we're going to make item info this is just going to set the info of what the uh the item is to our inventory and let me check what we're doing here grab my other reference right here so yeah we're gonna set the index from the added item okay so off of the add we're just gonna go ahead and set this to be the item index and then we're just gonna plug the rest of this stuff up like so so yeah this is if we don't if the item wasn't already found in our inventory this is basically just going to set it to its own index inside the inventory so yeah um we also want to pull off right here on the add set that index right there to the to the array element so now what we want to do is uh we're just gonna print string right here print string i'm gonna call this new tool item so that when we pick up something new we can we can test to see if it's a new item and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our tools inventory over here just pull this guy in and we're going to set array element set array element like this we're gonna hook this one to the true so if we did find an item what we're gonna do is we're gonna stack that item to the already existing index so yeah so bring in your item index we're just gonna set the index to that and And we're just going to get the item found variable that we made. We're going to break that guy open. And what we're going to do is we're just going to add to the stack here. Yeah. So. Let me make item info. And I forgot this part of my example or where I set it up, but what you want to do here is we're going to add, we're, gonna, we're just going to set all of this up and everything's going to be the same except current stack. We're going to add, I'm going to add one like that and then the rest will be the same plug everything else in like that and then we're gonna just print string right here print string and there's we're gonna say um tool item stat so that we know if we pick up a second one it will add to the stack so that should be good let's just check that real quick and when we pick up didn't print string let's see why And make sure we set those as tools in our da uh, data table. Uh, we did. Let's. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. On our pickup item, we want to add tools. Add to tools inventory right here. That's why. We want to set the item info like that. So let's. 
So new tool item, new tool item. And we're just going to duplicate these. So that when we pick up more than one, we can see that it's stacking it. A new tool item, new tool item. And then when we pick up these, it should say stacked. Tool item stacked, tool item stacked. And if you pick up a shield, we don't get the print stream because we're not adding to that inventory yet. So yeah, that's kind of that's kind of the idea behind how we're going to deal with uh, stacking inventory and setting it to our specific inventories. So we're going to have different inventories for the different items. And this is just the, the basic setup of it. So 